Gemini, welcome to the Oracle. I'm Raven. And we are going to go through your houses today, your astrological chart. Note that this will be a general collective read. Take what resonates, leave everything else behind. And thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing. And for whatever it's worth, if you feel somebody needs to hear exactly what is popping up here, please do so. And let's begin. Six of Swords, traveling are we? Let's have a look. Bosha, what is going on? Gemini, what are you up to? What are you up to? What is significant here? Communication, of course. Okay. Some of you are leaving a lover or traveling towards a lover. Hmm? This, this energy, has, you know, these energies that are popping up in these cards are so cozy. I don't know if this is a prediction or whatever it is, but they're so cozy. I'm like watching them, I'm like, oh, whoo, that's so sweet. And, and then, you know, you travel here, and then the sun is shining. Mmm. It's no moon here. It's being overshined by the sun. And, and here we have the ace of sticks. Magic mushrooms. Rusty leaves. The, the, the stick, the wand, is turned into a magic wand that bubbles with fire. Oh, can we have this lost, please? Ooh, I get this energy. You don't either want this to end. You don't want this to end. And there's someone here. There's something regarding overthinking this. Someone could be manipulative here regarding work. If you are having a normal routine job, it could be someone who are trying, I see someone maybe trying to give you advice, which is kind of useless. You don't want things to change, but you are someone who are the master of change, Gemini. So what is this? Hmm. There is a soulmate here. There is a soulmate here. Uh, I don't know. Gemini, do you have a lover? Because, uh, you know, it looks so cozy. It looks so wonderful. This lover is making your heart shine. And then then this is Scorpio energy popping up here, El Juicio, the Fenament, the Resurrection, Judgment Day of Ragnarok. It's coming out in reverse. 
at same time as there is this energy of uh, overthinking, manipulation here, someone feeling less than what they are, or maybe a form of shame, someone losing the connection to a soulmate here, even love, and there is a large heartbreak here. There's a split up, possibly caused by you meeting someone else. Nine of Cups here, whoever you had something with, no longer. This is pain. I see this is you know how can i fix this how can i fix this it's you know this i see that there is so much passion so much happiness for meeting this someone else maybe someone are trying to talk you out of it There is this very feminine energy here who might be the one who manipulates. Someone here wants a new beginning. Okay, there are two women here who are not too happy about what's going on. You could both have created heartbreaks in all directions with having this relationship, Gemini. This is clearly a very specific read. Someone are juggling here. So this is not just a lover, but I see that it's based on lust and happiness and all sorts of things, but someone are getting hurt here. Someone are moving into hermit mode to heal themselves, caused by a shock. Maybe something, maybe, you know, someone, some of you had this reunion here and it never happened because it could come out as a shock that someone found someone else. This is grief, someone feeling left out. Here the Emperor is landing very close, so you, some of you could be involved with someone who are already unhappily married, clearly. So again, waiting for some kind of communication here. Justice will be served. Karma is here. So the cards are not judging you. Um, the universe is coming clear here. We slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit. Uh, regarding making a choice. But there is something here that is not fair. There is something here that is not, you know, equal give and take. There is. It could be that the relationship alone is costing a lot of money, is what I get, or, you know, it's... Someone found out about this relationship, not cross watcher the energies can go vice versa. That is a hell of a read. Gemini, you are not boring. There are a lot of people involved here. 
there are all kinds of star signs so that is it possible to what the hell that's all i can say what the hell just happened okay so let us let us have a look at this lover what kind of energies what kind of feelings they have towards Gemini, okay? Uh, what kind of feelings? Show me the person of Gemini. And after that, I'm going to take the night and I'm going to move to Arambol and Manana. Whew. This, some of these reads are freaking me out. <laughs> This is, I, 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 okay. Oh, great spirit, show me what the hell is going on. Show me the person Gemini are having a crush on, banging or whatever's going on here. This Gemini card popping up right here in the sun field. Oh! They're coming out as quite deceptive. Caballero Copas in reverse. Knight of Cups. They see them coming in fast. This is temperance. In reverse. They don't care about. Maybe you didn't know that this individual was married or whatever you know. I don't know Gemini. This is someone very selfish. This is selfish energy. And I see that they have zero control over the money. Maybe they are using you, Gemini. But you also come out. Both of you are coming out as a little broke, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry. Some issues regarding stability. This is someone who, you know, again, we have Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and we have Capricorn. This is someone who, uh, they're working, they have a job, they're working on a project. And I get it, they could give the impression that they might work with you also. But they are also slandering. They, they don't, I don't see them having, showing you true love. I see them talking, creating drama. This is the Queen of Swords and here you have, this is a deceiver. Gemini, what have you got yourself into? Do I have to come out of that camera and give you a smack? This individual have nothing to do in your life but create hurting other people and including you. You can feel as happy as you want to, but this is this is false. It's all based on false. This is a bitch which is offensive to the female dogs. of going anywhere with you. You could be dealing with this is someone who are blind. They already have a soulmate. Could be you, but they're coming up. It seems to me that whatever relationship they are already in, they have a soulmate. Uh, they are very similar to the soulmate. But there is confusion in between of them. This is someone who might be very, looks very powerful. He has a very calm, you know, I smell self obsessed, arrogant piece of crap all over here. 
this is someone who can I see him, you know. I see this is someone who might have plenty of businesses. He's, uh, but but he has some trouble here regarding business, so now we have to focus more on work than usual. Usual? Focusing a lot of work on work, actually. But regarding the relationship right now and what have happened in the family now, is giving this individual nightmares, either as a woman or a man. Yeah, things are very unclear to him. Uh, See, this is someone that many people are looking up to. They might see him as a star, hero. But right now, this individual is not doing too well and he can't get anywhere. You can get towards uh, him or her maybe. This is very masculine energy. Yeah, this is someone who has no intention to change their old ways, Gemini. I can tell you as much that if you now leave this individual, if this story is 100% or at least 90% resonating with you, I get that if you leave this individual as fast as possible, you're coming out here as an empress. Maybe you already have a child, but someone who are loving unconditionally here. Ten of, ten of pentacles. We have to leave this behind. It's like the universe say, you want this true love? Because this, this is real, but you need to change your vibration. This individual you are running up in here is a false flame. Okay, that was the bad news. This is the good news. Gemini, love you so much. Namaste.